This video is going to show you a solo GM getting platinum rank. Yeah, I got you there, didn't I? No, it's Remnant 1, Remnant from the Ashes. The reason why we're making this video is just to say a couple of things. This is the final boss in Remnant 1 of the campaign, which was a fantastic boss, by the way. Really well designed. Loved it. I loved the entire game, to be honest. But Remnant 2 obviously has came out. This game right now is a four-year-old game. It's on the PS4. Well, I'm playing it on my PS5, but there's no great version for Remnant 1. Not that I'm aware of. So, this is a really old game. Right, but I I missed the train back in 2019. You must have, you must remember I was busy with Destiny 2 content creation, and I was um, really heavily involved with making videos during that time. And content creation was flowing really good. Everything was on the up. Right, there was uh, endless possibilities of at that time for me to grow, and I could have grew I could have grew even more than what I what than what I actually have. If I do, if I look back on that period of time between like 2017 to 2020, 21, if I'd done more during those three, four, five years, I'd have been in a better position than I am now. But I done okay, right? I had some highs and lows. But that's what I'm saying is that I looked at Remnant at the time, and I saw the cover of the game. I kid you not, I looked at the cover and I and I saw the price point of the game, and I was like. This isn't going to be a good game, this. This is like a B-rated game. No, nah, I'm not interested in this at all. And that's how I looked at it at the time. I was so naive to say these things, though. Because now I've actually went and played the game. It's fantastic. Isn't it funny how when you play a game like Destiny 2, an uh, ever-consuming game like that, you miss out so many things in the gaming industry of what games are coming out you miss so much and you don't realize what you're missing and it's all for nothing as well especially if destiny 2 is doing rubbish which right now it's, it is catastrophic it is rubbish anyone tells you it's really good it's rubbish it's rubbish to play it's rubbish to make content on it's rubbish on all levels on all levels it's getting to that stage how long do we have to keep telling them that it's not good but it's the culture. There's a culture problem now as well. See, they've went silent on Twitter because people are harassing them, and people shouldn't be harassing them. Which is why you never see me on Twitter. I never harass anyone. I don't even go on Twitter. I don't even like the damn thing. So this is what I'm saying: is that now people have ruined it for everybody, and now they don't even have a community manager to talk to. They've ruined it. Mind, there's problems from Bungie as well. Right, so it's it's a, it's a combination of the community's fault and Bungie's fault, which is which is why we're in the state we are now with D2. There's no communication really. Well, there's twabs, but who gives a, who gives a damn about those? We've always had twabs, and, and they're always nonsensical information, anyways. Right, you never get some true information. You will in August, which is what I'm waiting on. In the meantime, right, we're going to be playing Remnant 2. That's what I'm saying. I will still still make some videos on D2 when I feel inspired to do so and inspired to play the game. But right now, I'm not even thinking about D2 in my head. I'm thinking about, well, Remnant 1 was amazing to me. How good is Remnant 2 going to be? It's got to be amazing for me, hasn't it? It's got to be. It's got to be my type of game. So that's what I want to do for content creation for Remnant 2 is that I want to give some commentary over the top of the videos, right? So you've saw me do a variety of gaming in the past on the channel and it has de it's devalued the channel and all it's ever done is sent me back. Right? All it's ever done is it's the it's a YouTube problem this. It's not Bungie's fault. I wouldn't say that at all. Bungie don't have control of YouTube. They have nothing to do with that. So it's a YouTube thing. It's an algorithm thing. And the algorithm just does not like it if you don't upload the title that is associated with your game. Now, if I had started back in 2017-18, Variety Gaming, by now it would have been fine. I could upload whatever I want. But because I've had to entirely focus on Destiny 2, right, to become a master of Destiny 2, yes, I've done that, but I paid a price. The price is that I can't play any other game now. I have to start again. So there's always a price to be paid for, right? Just because you want to be the best Destiny 2 player or something, you pay a price for that. 
and the price is is that you miss out on so much you stop and the world keeps moving that's what happens and that's what sort of happened to me but it's like this like I say I still make uh, content creation on D2 but I want to see with the remnant 2 uh, on content creation I want to have some like well educated discussions over the top of a video because that's really what it is it's not guides I don't make guides I've never I hate the word guide I hate it I never use the word guide so my gu they're not guides they're not walk proofs walk throughs they're not let's play my series of videos on my channel have always been gameplay right to a decent level with a well educated discussion over the top of it and that's what they actually are so yeah that was the uh, video on this I'll just let this end and play out but yeah I'll be uploading some Remnant 2 videos hopefully we'll see how that goes hope you enjoy thank you